the briefing was relatively simple because uh, the briefing was the material to start with. Sapphire keramic, it's a, it's a, it's a ceramic, a porcelain um, that uh, Laufen developed, especially it's a novelty, uh, not brand new but from I think two years ago. Um, they have some products already but now invited designers to to, to really apply the material in its um, in its um, possibilities, the possibilities are that the material can be um, applied in very thin wall thickness, uh, four millimeters, and extremely small radius, one millimeter. It means the material is very um, is very strong, very precise, um, and that allows for theoretically a new language or for doing things that were not possible before. To us as designers it, it, um, it's, a, it's a great opportunity working with a new material but of course we are also challenged by finding the right kind of um, the key to how, how can we actually how can we apply it, how we can show that these possibilities. Um, our project is very much about these surfaces um, that have a very uh, fine, subtle, sharp definition of detail. Because my interpretation of the possibilities of the material were that uh, not only can we um, create the, 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 the big shapes of the bowls and other objects, but we go into the surface uh, treatment, which is very um, is not that common um, in the in, in, in this world of, um, of uh, bathroom ceramics, and uh, so what we've done is um, different wash bowls using different patterns plus smaller items. We call them trays. They can be elements used somewhere in the bathroom next to a bowl, um, in a shelf, in storage, um, made of the same material and again using using these um, patterns and details. They are different shapes and different patterns and I think this is the this is where we are now. The the future from after this fair will be developing it into a real range of um, of shapes for these, for the wash bowls, for other items, defining exactly the, the range of patterns, probably going even further than where we are now, um, and, and creating a whole family of products. I mean, the process was, um, it was, we, there was a, there was a short time frame, um, and I think um, the, the amount of, uh, products we show here which are not they're not mock-ups they are they come they're off tool they, they come from a mold they show that we, even within the short time frame we were able to go straight into the real thing and that was necessary in order to find out does it work does it not work um, I think with the manipulation of uh, you know hand finishing these prototypes or first off tool pieces worked and that gives us the confidence and assurance that it will work. Of course there is work to do um, to really industrialize the process but I think the, the, uh, the, the message is positive that the idea of uh, creating um, a, a very fine definition of detail on a surface uh, can work with this material. The, the thin wall thicknesses uh, Laufen had already done before. We are we are um, you know applying uh, knowledge there. Um, so no major difficulties. And for me, it was the, the project wasn't about you know going really you know it wasn't about um, crossing the border and, and doing something. Extreme. It was more a, a kind of subtle um, application of possibilities, and the subtlety really is in the 
in the definition of surfaces. Uh, uh, no, people inside the company played a big role, and and actually seeing seeing the you know the the, the reality of how these things are produced, and speaking to the technicians and uh, the technical staff, um, we ask some questions and we got some answers and they were kind of enough for us to go step by step forward 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 until the moment of just really I guess um, having a go at the real thing there, there was one phase of um, polystyrene models um, Probably we could have skipped that because that says nothing. It just says um, it's a it's just a three-dimensional model of a digital data from a computer. But what really we had to see was how how does it the material behave coming off out of the mold? How does the glaze um, cover these uh, these details of different definitions? And we the different patterns are not only different patterns, but for us they are. Uh, trying out different grades of um, what can be done from very fine to, um, to, to, to larger to from soft to sharp from um, more organic to more uh, geometric those kind of things and, and for me this is a, this is a it is a study project um, uh, and, and we depart from here I think the it, it was in the end, it was always about doing a project, but I think the um, the kind of um, uh, the fact that um, there was a first stage, which was a presentation in Milan, which allowed for a kind of um, just a kind of preview experience, uh, it created a nice structure for the whole project. Um, Yes, I'm selected, selective in the, with, with companies that I, I work with. I think it's, um, it's actually crucial, and especially in a, in a very specialized field like this, I feel I will work for only one company in this field, and then, uh, and then uh, you, you want to uh, make sure it's, um, it's the right one. It's, it's not... Uh, there's, um, it's... it's, it's, uh, it's it's, it's, it's very important.